Tonight's interstate matchup, the first one says 2018 between the Southern Illinois Salukis and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Welcome to this presentation of Solemn Runs, ranked second in the Missouri Valley Conference. 2-2. Two -two. This one's hit into right field. No problem for Keller Riono. Out number one. Two ninety-eight batting average on the season for Warwick. And that will extend. Great at bat by Warwick. She's off to second base here. And she hits it through the gap in left center. And that will be a double. Finale only had three hits as a team. As this is a fly ball into right center. It's got some carry, but it's caught at the wall by Stevie Mead in center. Sydney Jones got all of that one, but just barely missed a home run. The bat making Tori McQueen earn these outs. In the circle, 2-2 two, two again. Strike three right down the middle. And that is a punch out. Tori McQueen picks up her first strikeout and that will retire the side here in the top of the first. The Who's won the newcomer of the week award in the Missouri Valley Conference three times. Riano grounds out to Aaron Lee at second base and she completes an easy play over to Sydney Jones at first for out number one. Playing and starting game at number 37 this season. As she hits one into shallow right field, coming up to make the grab is Bailey Kaler. 2-2 two, two again. Burkmeyer into center field. Diving grab made by Emma Austin. That will end the inning. Fantastic work in the outfield by Emma Austin. One home run. 1-0 from McQueen. And this is skied into center field by Baker. And Stevie Mead has it. Quick out number one here in the top of the second. one -oh from McQueen. This one's hit over to shortstop in Megan Ward. And that will be a 6-3 for out number two. Conference tournament. 3-1 to Kaler. Put on the ground. And an easy play between... Gabrielle Debovic and Donahue. And that'll be a 1-2-3 for the Fighting Illini on defense. 11 RBIs. Also has three stolen bases in four attempts. 1-2 from Groff. And that catches the outside. To Coach Tyra Perry. She was talking about how Awesome it has been to have a player like Addison Carroll and right on cue she gets a single to put the first hit on the board for the Illini. Groff was coming and had an instant impact. She says, you know what you're going to get with her. And to hear that for a freshman is not something you could say you can hear very often from a coach. But you know, pitchers just usually like to stay loose in softball. As that one is hit down the right field line. This could be a double play. And what's the call here? For sure, out at first base, but... Oh, there's the double play. Okay, so it had to be out on the tag, and that is going to be a double play that ends the inning for the Salukis on defense. That was 11-game all-time series, the first going back to 2004. 3-2, that's hit up the middle by Austin. And she'll have a leadoff single here in the third. Off to second. Goes Austin, and she is in there way safely. The throw from Berkmeyer got a little long, and it puts together some really impressive at bats. As that is a drop third strike, but Berkmeyer lays the tag down, so that'll be strikeout number two. McQueen to Liss, and Liss hits one into left field, and she hits a home run. That one stays fair. Tenth home run of the season for Liss. She showed her power in the first inning and shows it again here. This time, though, like I mentioned, it is fair. How about that from Jackie Liss? And the Salukis go up 2-0. The first of now three Saluki hits in this one. One, two again. Swing and a miss. And that'll be strikeout number three for Tori McQueen. And McQueen's payoff. 
Jones into right field. Riono goes back and has it. So that'll do it for the top of the third. Maddie Groff, there's a very good chance she will go the whole way. There's a bunt put down by Debovic, and Groff makes the easy play over to Jones at first for out number one. 1-1. One, one. That is hit towards left field, but a play will not be able to be made by Jackie Liss over to Sidney Jones. So it was a really well-hit ball there from Starks, just putting it soft enough on the ground. Adding cage. One, two, swing and a miss. From Olathe, Kansas. This one is hit up the middle. That'll be another single for the Fighting Illini. And Meade puts hit number 32 of the season on the board. Payoff again. Berkmeyer swings and misses. And Groff picks up a second strikeout here in the bottom of the third. It keeps her Salukis up 2-0 to Illinois as that is a ball hit into center field by Riley Hamilton but going back and finding it was Stevie Mead so one pitch one out for the Salukis here payoff pitch again this is hit into shallow left field or not hit into shallow left field that's, at the, that's off the wall for Addie Baker that's a ball it just looked like it kept going and already 2-0 elite 1-2, and that one's in the dirt. Off to third goes Bake, or Christensen rather, and she is safely in there off. Like I mentioned, just relentless efforts. And Groff is going to be heading over to first base. That'll put runners on the corners as McQueen lets up her. Kaler looking for hit number 20 on the season. That is a... Line drive into the glove of Debovic at second base. And that is an out. Illinois. De and this one softly put on the ground by Austin. And a play not in time from Carroll over to Donahue at first. Payoff again. Swing and a miss. And that will be the... Fourth strikeout now for Torrey in the circle for a while. And there is a ball hit into the gap in right center field, but getting to it in time was the speedster Emma Austin to make sure that Megan Ward couldn't hit now. As she is over there at first base, and that one is also hit up the middle by Addison Carroll. So the freshman has gotten the better of the freshman twice now. Addison Carroll two for two and a couple singles. And if you're an Illinois team ERA, 1.77. As Reinick hits one into right field, that's going to, well, it might have loaded the bases, but instead, coming home was Megan Ward. So it's an RBI single for Abby Reinick, and the Illini have found the scoring category. Three singles. And Donahue comes to the plate with still no outs and runners on the corners. Illinois 60 feet away from making this a one-run ball game. Off to second. Goes Zoe Howard, and just like that, the double play ball no longer in effect. Looking a little too ahead, I guess. And a swing and a miss. So Groff picks up a much needed out number one here in the bottom of the fourth, third game this season. But playing in her 27th, four hits, one double, four RBIs. One, two, and that's a back-to-back -back strikeouts for Matt. And that was only one out away from getting out of this inning. That's a bunt put down by Serena Starks and the throw over in time from Groff. <laughs> Nearly a good idea from Serena Starks, but in five and nine record, 6.38 ERA as that one stopped by Debovic, but the throw will not be in time. Over to Donahue, so that'll be an infield single And Warwick hits one into left center field. That's split in the gap. Off to third goes Liss. And off to second goes Warwick. The second double for Elizabeth Warwick in this one. 
2-0. And Jones pops it into foul territory and easily into the glove of Addison Carroll. One, two from Wiles to Hamilton. And that is going to go into left field. RBI single for Riley Hamilton on a 2-1 count, rather. And that will make the lead 4-1 in favor of the Salukis. Payoff pitch. Baker into right center field. This could be her second double of the game. And it is. And it scores a run. Southern Illinois leads it 5-1. to one. Have yourself a game, Addie Baker. Off. Now up for the third time. She was walked her last time up. Groff puts one on the ground. Over to Carroll at third, and she makes the play to Donahue for out number two. One, two. Wiles. That one is hit up the middle by Kaler. Six to one, Southern Illinois. A three spot here in the fifth. And they're not done yet. Bailey Kaler drives in her seventh run of the season. Still two outs here in the top of the fifth. Off to second and out was Kaler. She tried to steal second, but to no avail, Berkmeyer. Maddie Eberly still getting loose in the bullpen for the Salukis, but won't be surprised if we don't see her in this one. And there is the sixth strikeout for Maddie Agroff. Best team ERA in the whole entire NCAA. Stevie Mead into center field. Under it is Emma Austin, and she has it for out number two. Provide a little bit of a spark as Berkmeyer has yet to find the bases. And that'll be a four pitch walk. So that'll be the second walk allowed in the. 0 1. And Ward puts this one on the ground. And a quick play between Aaron Lee and Jackie Liss for a put out at second base of Paige Berkmeyer. And that is a, another quick inning of work from Maddie Groff on the mound. Or, 25 hits coming in, that is. She's now 27 with the two she has today. And there's strike three. Lauren Wiles picks up her first strikeout as Emma Austin will go down looking at that one. Payoff pitch to Wilkerson. And that'll be taken on the inner half for strike three. And that will be taken for ball four. So the inning will continue. It's not a one, two, three for Lauren Wiles. List will find the base path for the third time in this contest. But that will be taken for another walk. So two runners on now with two outs. Wiles, two, two. Swing and a miss. Four strike three, and Cindy Jones goes down swinging. So that will retire the side after a couple of walks out by Liss and Warwick. Carroll skies it. It stays in the infield and is corralled by Aaron Lee. 3-2 for a second time. Reinick. Puts it in the air. It's got some carry, but not enough as Emma Austin tracks it and will find it for out number two. 2-2. Two -two. Put on the ground, and or not put on the ground, was lined directly into the glove of Riley Hamilton, and that will do it for the bottom of the sixth season. Those two teams split. Southern Illinois is two and one against Big Ten opponents coming into this one as that is a ground ball over to Megan Ward at shortstop and she makes the play in time to Donahue. Two, two. Baker into left field, her third hit of the game. My goodness. 
and she'll pop this one in the infield. Diving grab made by Donahue. For a quick out number two. 2-2 two -two to Kaler. Kaler lofts it easily into shallow left field. That'll be a blooper single for Bailey Kaler in this seventh inning. Will Austin puts one on the ground. Over to Ward, and she'll make the play in time to Donahue. So that'll be the third out here in the bottom of the seventh. Three more outs to go for Illinois. They need five runs in order to tie this one up. 1-1 one, one to Debevec. 0 for 2 in this one, and that clipped her inside elbow. So that'll be a hit by pitch. And Illinois starts off this bottom of the seventh. Starks on the ground. There's one out, and it's a put out of Debevec at first. So Fielder's Choice will keep Starks at first base, but the lead runner in Debevec. Groff looking for out number two here in the bottom of the seventh. Riono swings and misses. Strike out number seven. Groff looking for the win. Swing and a miss. Eight strikeout performance for Mattia Groff. And two strikeouts is how she'll complete this one. It's a 19th victory from the left arm of Mattia Groff this season. And the Southern Illinois Salukis improved to 28 and 27 and 8 on the season. Whereas the Fighting Illini fall to 15 and 22. It's the first win for the Salukis over the Fighting Illini since 2012. And they last did it here in Urbana, do it once again here in Urbana. Up next for the Salukis, 